Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new, Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would mean so much to me. Follow all of my little stinky social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. Everybody, I know I am burnt right now. I am a little fried um, because I decided to go to the lake with my friend and I neglected to use the spoof which is SPF. So um, I thought it would be a good time to cover up all of this bullshit and try out some new makeup and holy shit. This is the second time in a row that I'm recording after eating a ginormous meal. I just came back from a hibachi place and um, I'm probably gonna talk like a freaking idiot, which is fine, you know, just wash it down with some water. So guys, today, it is the little stinky August Ipsy bag review video, you know? So it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be fun. So what we usually do in this video is we first look at the bag, check it out, then we're gonna try out the five products that I get in my Ipsy Plus bag, and then um, we're gonna review it and we're gonna have so much fun. So what the bag looks like is, um, it's kind of like a fake snakeskin looking bag. It's pretty cute, pretty, pretty average. It has just regular like texture, it doesn't have any texture to it is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, I don't know, that's cute. You know, a little saucy, a little little snake bag. Um, so now we're gonna open up the bag and see what this card has to say. So let's see. August 2021, wander lost. And then we got some, got some butterflies. We got a little flower. We got some leaves on there. Recharge, reset, and go off the grid. Discover rare new ingredients and go wild with mayonnaise. Try techniques that soothe your skin and your mind. Your greatest adventure starts with you. Hashtag Ipsy Wanderlust. Five notes to transport your senses. Sea salt, neroli, sandalwood, coconut water, lang lang. Uh, they kind of just go off in these, you know, it's a lot to read. I'm sure they have good intentions. That's going in the trash. So now we could try these five new products, cover up my sunburnt face and pretend like it never happened. Um, So first product we have going on is actually not for my face, which is fine. This is the Saints and Sinners <laughs> Velvet Divine Leave-In Conditioner. I thought it said coconut conditioner, but I'm just stupid. I'm gonna take this wrap on it. They like wrapped up the whole thing, so they really wanted to make sure this was staying fresh. Come on! Yeah, I just got chicken hibachi, sushi, I had some gyoza. Um, oh, and if it's really loud upstairs, my brother is moving out, so he's like packing up his stuff. So like, yeah, if you just hear like, crazy shit upstairs. Don't be worried about it. <laughs> okay, so we got the plot. No, we did not. That's a lie. Well, I thought I broke a nail. Actually, before I got this set, I did break a nail trying to pick up my old ass dog. And I'll tell you what, that kind of hurt. <laughs> I don't break nails often because like I get these kind of like thick because they're so long and it doesn't happen a lot But when it does it doesn't feel good. So anyways, we finally got this queen open. Let's see what it says Oh God, it's such tiny text. Okay, the best leave-in conditioner you will ever use ideal for all hair types instantly Detangles eliminates frizz adds shine protects color adds moisture increases coat my eyes increases Compability strength manageability while protecting hair against heat and and I Environmental damage. I'm sorry. I'm really doing my absolute best right now free of gluten parabens This word we literally figured out in my last ipsy video and it already left me Is it phthalates or something like that iron oxides mineral oil petroleum synthetic colors nut ingredients palm oil and 100% vegan and cruelty free So you're supposed to do this after shampooing and conditioner It says after shampooing and conditioning with their shampoo and conditioner It says um spray this into your hair. Do not rinse out. Well, you're probably supposed to do it with with wet hair and I know like one video I got like I wet I wetted my hair but my hair's already styled because I just went out to eat and we're just gonna spray it on my ends and like brush it through and see what happens you know that seems like that will work right that's correct I think that's enough, whatever. So we're gonna just like brush this through because the ends of my hair are covered in it. We'll see if this is right because you probably are 1000% supposed to do this on um, <coughs> wet hair, but I am not going to take, I'm not gonna mess up my hair washing day schedule for an Ipsy video, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. And then you're probably wondering, Maddie, well, why don't you just record this on a hair washing day? And to that, I'm gonna tell you guys, you ever have days that you're like so productive and you wanna get shit done and then other days where it, you just, it's not gonna 
happen. My hair washing days, one, I'm usually busy on those days because I'm like doing something with like my friends or something. But I also, there's a high chance I won't be productive enough to record. So we're just gonna put this in my dry hair and we'll see how it feels at the end of the video. Right now my hair is kind of like very low key, like especially right here, like sticking together and ignore all my zits on my face. I don't know where those came from. But anyways, my hair is kind of sticking together, but I mean, it made my hair smell really good. All right, next product, we have the Avant or Avant, but I think it's Avant. Hyaluronic Shea Butter Goji Berry Avocado. Whoa, wait. Okay, what is this? Why is it just listing off shit right off the bat? Brightening and depuffing hy hyaluronic overnight eye recovery mask. Holy. I am going to send my camera to Volcano Sacrifice if it keeps doing this. Look at my big dumb face. So this is age radiance, which is funny because why is it giving me anti-aging stuff when I'm 22? Ingredients, water. Okay, why am I reading the ingredients? Usage, apply a thin layer to clean, dry skin, allowed to absorb into the delicate skin around the eye area. No need to wash off. Caution, carry out a patch test 24 hours before first use. I'm not doing a patch test. I'm not gonna lie, we're not doing that. I'm not, remember what I just said. I have the drive to record right now. And in 24 hours, that drive could very much so not be here. So we're gonna put a little, there was no seal on this. That's a little gross. But anyways, we're gonna put a little, little judge on my finger. This is how much I use for like eye cream usually. And we put it on my two thinners and we are going to put it on. Ooh, that smells very, um, like almost tropically. You know what I mean? Like not really coconutty, but it's like very sweet. Um, it's a very sweet smell. I have like this green tea eye treatment I usually use. So it's a nice switch up because that one is very herbal smelling. There we go. Oh my God, look at this. Maddie, you wanna know what's funny? Is me and my best friend, Ava, we did bring SPF to this trip we went on. We brought it. We bought some SPF for the trip and we just did not use it. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm gonna put on some primer and then this is the first time one of the first times ever that Ipsy is sending me a um, Foundation so we have a foundation to try so all I have to do is just put on some primer real quick And then we can give this foundation a little trizzle try Okay, so now we have a foundation from Ipsy, which is really, this is either gonna be hit or miss because um, usually like, you know, you have a very specific foundation shade and Ipsy only gives you six skin colors to choose from. So we're gonna hope this matches my skin. And if not, I might have to break out my foundation or if it's too dark, break out my concealer and make it match my skin. Um, so we're gonna see. <laughs> um, so this is by Studio Makeup. The box is beating the hell up. Flawless skin foundation formulated with highlight hyaluronic acid. This is like the second thing with hyaluronic acid. They just love that shit. Hydrating, firming, and youthful effect. Shake well. That's a good artist. <laughs> All right, flawless skin foundation. How to use? Apply with our pro foundation brush. Nope, with or with your fingertips. I'm gonna use the sponge, thanks. Use light feathery strokes to blend the product evenly into the skin. Combine with our silk hydration face primer. No, thank you. Benefits, great for all skin types. This hyaluronic acid formula is ultra lightweight, buildable and blendable, light to medium coverage that increases moisture levels and leaves skin hydrated, plump and youthful. Awesome, so we're gonna bust this open. Maybe this looks like this is about to be light if that's like the color. <laughs> See, this is my problem. Remember last time I got a face thing from Ipsy, it was way too dark. So then I made my skin light. And then of course I decided to get a little summer tan before I recorded this video. So that's cool. This is nice packaging. It feels very like luxurious. You know what I mean? We have a matte white bottle with a shiny silver lid. Studio makeup says the same shit. It says to shake it. Oh, so it's like watery. I wasn't expecting that. Um, We are gonna set up my mirror, get her ready to look at this beautiful face and let's see if this matches my skin maybe no no that's looking like it might match my skin why don't we just put it on my skin and we can actually see sir what the fuck is happening am i dumb <gasps> oh she's gushing every oh my god it's gushing everywhere <laughs> let's just like put a little bit on my face and see if this matches it's hard to tell because I'm burnt. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. And I also put on a fuck ton of concealer anyways. This is pretty light coverage, which is okay, but I am like having a little bit of a travesty over here and um, I don't want to be looking at it, but it seems like I will be because um, I'm not given any other option. 
but let's cover up that sunburn because nobody wants to look at that. <laughs> nobody wants to look at me making a mistake and just like begging for skin cancer. Every other summer, <laughs> look at it compared to my sunburn. I used to love going into the um, sun and like hanging out outside, but I never get to anymore. Um, and it may or may not be because of YouTube. I don't want you guys to feel bad with me saying that I look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But no, it's because I love YouTube. So it's not like, oh, I'm giving up like my outside time that I would usually have in the summer. But in all realness, I don't go outside a lot. Okay, so now that I'm done talking about if it matches my goddamn skin or not, let's talk about the formula. So it is light, like it doesn't feel heavy on the face, which is nice. It was like pretty watery when it came out, but it is like light to medium coverage, like it said. So that's nothing that's not expected. It seems like a nice formula. I definitely always stand by my L'Oreal, what's it called, Pro Matte Foundation. It's cheap, I use it all the time. I've been using it for a while. And it makes me a happy little gal. Yeah, I mean, it seems really good right now, but you know, foundations can also take a hard left when they sit on your skin for long enough. So we're gonna see how it is when it sits on my face for a while. Um, so now I have to do like my concealer, um, powder, eyebrows, and I'm gonna just throw in like a little bit of eyeshadow because we have new pencil liners, which is pretty sick because um, I don't get those a lot. I usually get liquid eyeliners. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then and we'll come back to try out these eyeliners. All right, everybody. Like, it's like whenever I speak, it just like chooses not to be in focus. So the next product we have, let me grab it. There's like some cricket outside and it's loud as all fucking hell, to be honest. All right, so we have the Araceli, um, I believe that's how it's pronounced, um, Ojo's Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner Duo with Sharpener. So it has two pencil eyeliners in bronze and olive and then a sharpener, which is nice. You know, we could always use more sharpeners here. Um, I have their um, Ojo's Perfectos um, Liquid Eyeliner and I really like it. It's actually amazing. So I'm excited to try this. So here's the sharpener. That's just a regular black sharpener. Um, I picked a good eyeshadow color for this. We have an olive one and then a bronze one. So I was gonna figure out a way to use both of them. I was gonna put one color on top of my, on my upper lid and one on my bottom lid or like on my waterline. I think we should put the bronze one on my upper lid and just try it out, see how it looks. So it definitely has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is cool, you know? but like just very lightly. And this is pretty damn close to the um, eyeshadow color. So it's like kind of like having a hard time showing up, but I definitely wanted to add eyeshadow with this. I didn't want to just like slap on some eyeliner and call it a day, but I'll try to like make it thick or something so we can see it more. Do you hear that God damn fucking cricket going ham outside? I have a window right behind my camera and it's just like watching me record or something, just going crazy. My biggest fan is a cricket. <laughs> I don't know, can you see it at all? Yeah, you could definitely see it a little bit. Let's wait for it to focus a little bit so we can see it more. So yeah, you could see, it's just a bronze eyeliner. I think it looks cute with this eyeshadow. Okay, so there's that one. And then I wanna put the olive one in my waterline. All right, sorry, let me just lean in real quick because I gotta get this in my waterline. Ooh, okay. 
Ooh, the cricket likes this one. Yeah, no, this looks cute. It's giving me a very like earthy toned look, which is kind of what I was gonna go for today. Um, how are we feeling? <laughs> okay, so now we have quite a while before the next product, which is a lip product. So I pretty much have to put on all the rest of my face stuff, mascara. I might put on lashes. I'll see how I feel about the look with like like all my other face stuff on. Um, and then we'll try out this new lip balm. Sounded like Cardi B and WAP. Okay guys, so I decided I'm not going to put lashes on so you can see the new eyeliner I got because I think this looks cute as it is. Um, so the next product we have is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Lip Pop Nourishing and Smoothing. So this has watermelon, coconut, and hibiscus in it. So this is a scrub to balm concentrated with watermelon, coconut sugar, flour, AHA to, dehy to dehydrate. This is gonna dehydrate your lips. To hydrate, smooth, and tint lips with a pop of pink, no rinse necessary. So for an everyday treatment, reapply throughout the day for an immediate smoothing effect in a plush lip look apply three coats to build up color it said something about a scrub so does it feel like a scrub and then it turns into a bomb i don't know cute packaging i like it a lot it has like a little swirl in there do you see that yeah you see that in there isn't that cute so it does have like little it looks like it has little things in it and i guess it like feels like a lip scrub at first i'm going to slaughter that cricket <laughs> I'm kind of getting a little bit of a grit feeling with it. Not really, maybe? Or maybe is it just like, I feel like I'm feeling something cause like I read that. It feels nice on my lips, it does smell like a watermelon. Added a little bit of color back to my lips. Um, we're gonna spritz on a little bit of setting spray and then I will give my final thoughts about all these products I tried out. Stormy. I fucking love when Kylie Jenner goes stormy. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm okay. So to start things off the first thing I used was this leave-in conditioner by Saints and Sinners uh, in velvet, which It just kind of smells like a conditioner, you know It doesn't really have too much of an intense smell But in those places where it like kind of was clumping up like right here It has smoothed out and my ends feel pretty good I'm curious to see what it would be like when I put it on wet hair But I mean leave-in conditioners always seem to just like do what they're supposed to I don't know how it would be be wrong other than just leaving your hair feeling fried but no it feels nice my hair feels nice it smells good it smells like conditioner um so I'm definitely like you know it's not like changing my life it didn't make a drastic difference but you know also I didn't put it on wet hair um and then next we had that eye cream by Avant um which my eyes look pretty nice um I guess it was supposed to help with depuffing and shit, right? That was one of the things. Yeah, depuffing and brightening. So no, this seems like a pretty good eye cream. I, again, I don't have much to say about it other than it it seems good. Um, and then next, this foundation was actually... This is pretty fire, dude. Like, I really like this. Um, it doesn't make me look cakey. Oh, I didn't... Ow. Fuck! I didn't clean off my piercings. Um, no, I really like this foundation. It actually like really matched with my skin. It probably would match a lot better if I wasn't so burnt. No, it definitely is like really nice. Like I love how it went on. I love how it's making my skin look. Um, it's not creasing in the normal places where my foundation can crease at, which would be my forehead. Cause I always raise my eyebrows like let me hear it from the ladies who also have resting bitch face. You are constantly raising your eyebrows to look nice because if I don't, um, it's not creasing around my smile lines. Um, so this is really nice. I like this a lot. The Studio Makeup Flawless Skin Foundation. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is nice. I am curious how much it is because I actually am thinking about like rebuying it. So, because a big reason why I get the um, L'Oreal one is because like it is pretty good for its price, but also like I need something cheaper because 
I'm not gonna drop so much money on foundation all the time. Okay, so then next we have the Araceli eyeliners, the Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner. Um, and I really like these a lot. Um, I think it really paired well with the eyeshadow I did. Um, I just like how it gives it a nice earthy tone. Um, and they went on very smoothly. They aren't like crackly feeling. They're not too hard feeling. I like the olive one in my waterline, the bronze one on my top lash line, just like a basic eyeliner pencil, not too problematic. And I also like that it came with a sharpener because to be honest, the sharpener I have right now is kind of terrifying because I've had it for a really long time. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing is what I just used, which was this Glow Recipe Lip Pop in like watermelon, what was it called again? Do they not have it on the packaging? Yes, they do. They have to have it on the packaging. Then the flavor of it, which is not flavored. Um, It's in watermelon pink, Um, but I like that it adds a little bit of color, but it also feels really nice on my lips. It's not extremely heavy, you know, because some lip balms, even the EOS lip balms I wear, like those can get kind of heavy feeling and like thick. It's like staying on my lips. It's not like immediately sucking in or going away. Um, yeah, so we had a pretty, we had a pretty chill Ipsy bag this month. It wasn't really like a lot of things. Well, it was the same amount of things, but nothing too crazy or intense, like not like an eyeshadow palette or something like that. Um, but I'm really happy with all the products. Um, nothing disappointed me. If anything, the worst part of it is like some of these were just kind of like average products. Um, but that is going to be it for my August Ipsy bag. I almost said September. That's next month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to like it if you did and like subscribe to my channel because like we have fun here. I will catch you guys next week with a new video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Stay out of trouble as usual. Bye guys.